Hey guys, and welcome to this first episode in a new series called a player improvement program. Basically, in this series, we'll be looking at everything from the basics all the way to map knowledge, gun recoil, um, how to use what what you should be using, economy, etc., etc. So, when you first open up CS:GO, you're gonna have this screen. You're not gonna have a rank here. You're gonna have ten games until a competitive rank. Um, you're also going to need to level up to level 2 before you can play any competitive but before you do that so this is what you're going to be using probably deathmatch is quicker to level up um, first thing you want to do is go onto the workshop you want to go on, you won't have these here you want to view workshop and when you're on there you want to press the search button type in uh, crosshair is the first one just type in crosshair it will be the first one, crash scene both are crash scene. Um, they'll both be five stars. And then search for the view model as well, which will be the second one we need. And we're just gonna head up into crash scene crosshair generator. This is probably the most important thing you need to do before you start playing because a crosshair makes a huge difference to your gameplay, uh, your accuracy, recoil. Yeah, one tapping um, with a dynamic crosshair that'll get bigger every time you shoot. And then when it's at the right size, that's when your recoil will reset and you can then improve your one tapping speed this way. So the default crosshair is this. Um, as you can see, this one's dynamic. It's moving when I move, it doesn't have to happen. And I'll also move when I shoot. Now, some people it's all personal preference um, you've got a load of different crosshairs here and back here that you can pick from see which ones you like um, or you can customize your own completely uh, if we go on to I normally choose Taz's from VP and then you can completely customize it with the size everything if you want a dot you can have a dot um, I actually have mine dynamic as well so it'll every time I shoot, the crosshair gets a bit bigger, and I'll save this cross, custom crosshair as number one. I think I just save. yeah, right, that's fine. And then you can choose color depending on. You don't want it. It's difficult. You don't want it really white because you don't really see anything. Um, you know, if you're in a black space, you don't really see anything either. And if you want to test your crosshair, just come out here, and you can just. Okay, now we've got our crosshair. What we want to be doing is going on to the other server we downloaded, which is the view model generator. So we're going to start that. Uh, basically, this will change our gun position on our screen. Um, we can have it left or right. Um, we can have it lower down, higher up. You can change your, you know, increase your field of view basically by having your gun a bit lower. And you can spot enemies a lot easier. Okay, so you can select here basically what I have is I have launders um, it's a bit easier to show an AK and yeah launders you can have that's that's horrible if you want to see your gun or not I guess um, this one's quite weird it's like really in the middle you can see the left and right it's not too bad so I'm going to stick with launders and you can switch between left hand and right hand some people like this because you can you know see the right side a lot clearer I haven't got the gun in the way. A lot of people don't really look on the left too much. But it's, it's just quite difficult to get used to. Um, apart from that, you can fine-tune your position of your weapon. You can change your field of view. A bigger or a bit smaller. Max and... There's not really much difference, to be honest. But I prefer it on max. Um, I have my view model movement on lowest, so my gun doesn't move. If I have it on highest, you'll see every time I move, my AK will twitch. But if you're peeking a corner like this, I think it's quite, it's kind of distracting. If you have it on lower, it's just a bit more basic. So once you've done that, go through these, fine tune your view model, and then we can go on to looking at some game settings. So press escape, help and options, 
you haven't got a controller if you have you shouldn't be using one because it's just you're at such a disadvantage um, go into your game settings we're gonna set this I set this to no but um, if you're new to the game you set it to yes for a bit until you're used to all the commands or all the controls even um, some people bind this to a key so it doesn't really matter what key as long as it's not like one you use um, basically if the enemy team plant the bomb and you need to defuse it and say you're last alive and they've hidden it somewhere because you can, you can hide a bomb in a plant pod and it can be quite difficult especially if you've got a bad headset so you can toggle this to a key, press the key and then it'll tell you where the bomb is using the tutorial so that's, that can be quite a good thing to bear in mind um, match acceptable ping I turned down to about 100 um, it's completely preference, depends on your internet of course um, Steam notifications it depends if you've got any friends or not um, you want to put your developer console on yes so you can get this and you can also do a few other commands as well that could be quite useful I'll put a link to the commands in the description um, doesn't matter we've done our crosshair the hard is just your radar this stuff you can change the color of it um, your money obviously uh, this bomb hunt position is if you pick up the bomb in a competitive game where where will it display will it display with your weapons or will it display under the radar here I have it with my weapons which it'll show about here I think but it's completely preference I mean I think it's probably better to have it here I might actually change mine at some point just because sometimes when I was starting off I was forgetting I had the bomb and then people were shouting at me because I was running after the bomb trying to kill people um, next we have mini scoreboard position top of screen you can have it I think it's at the bottom of the screen isn't it oh, yeah, I prefer at the top because I swam I look more to the top mini scoreboard you can either have it as show avatars or you can have it as I believe show numbers yeah player count so you can just have a number like 5-5 five, five, or 4-5 four, whatever I prefer the avatars because it comes up with the color of the player so you can call them by their color and also if they're dead or not whether instead of like 5-5 five, 5-3 five, five, even um, going down here this is just your clan tag it's not too important um, if you want to display a ta clan tag this needs to be set you need to be in that steam group um, this isn't too important this is um, if you're in a lobby this is what you set if you want it private um, you can also do this in the lobby but this will be the default uh, nearby players are players they can search nearby lobbies and just join a random one that's on there um, I prefer to have it as friends and group can join or friends need invites depending on how I feel if I want to play with people or not or I want a solo key now we're going to look at this is all spectator stuff I'm not too bothered about that and this is quite important right graffiti is not important but that's just you can press T and put graffiti on the wall switch weapon on pickup so you want to set this to no because if you're running around with a pistol and you randomly pick up someone's AK I guess AK is a good thing what am I talking about paper bison or something is an awful weapon um, if you run over that and you've got a deagle and then someone pops off and you've got a PP bison you've got more chance of killing the guy with a deagle in the head than you have with a PP bison because it's just a terrible weapon uh, view model position we're doing anyway we've just done even um, I turn the rest to no close buy menu after purchase that get quite annoying if you keep buying a weapon and then it closes and then you have to reopen it um, this is your radar size and your heads up display size I prefer to have it default I don't really see I play on a 27 inch monitor so it's not it's not a big thing for me but if you're playing on like your phone then obviously you're going to want to turn that a bit smaller um, that's pretty much it for the game settings moving on to the keyboard and mouse uh, leave these as default your mouse sensitivity it also depends on your DPI of your mouse so what I've done is I've gone to a table on the internet which shows all the pro uh, settings and I've 
selected the same ones as a pro and then just modified it a bit to suit myself. Um, I play at four. Do I play at eight hundred DPI? Eight hundred DPI and one point two one mouse sensitivity, and it's really nice. I've got quite a big mouse mat as well, so I can use that lower sensitivity. Obviously, if you've got a smaller mouse mat, you want to turn it up a bit. But I do the same where you find a pro sensitivity and then you customize it to yourself. So if you come out of here and we'll switch to the AK, you can then use this target practice if you want. You can use you can use anything. You can go back into that crosshair generator and shoot the bots. It's probably better, but it's not at this at this point. It's not too important. So we go back into keyboard and mouse. I think that's it. Zoom sensitivity will leave. One pit will leave. Mouse acceleration I put to off. Because some people actually have this. But it takes way too long. I couldn't get used to that. If you don't know what mouse acceleration is, I'll Google it. So I'm not going to explain it. Um, the only thing I've changed on my bindings is the talk button. Use mic. I put to mouse 4, which is on the side of my mouse because it's easier to communicate with my team and I don't have to move my hands to press K I don't want to be taking my hands off the mouse or the keyboard to talk to people I want to be able to talk to them while I'm killing someone basically and then remember this is for your toggle contour which we will need so we're going to back out to the main menu and we can go through our video options Prick. right back in the main menu we're going to go through our video options is here. Brightness, we can leave. Or, oh, but it's just all personal preference. If you if your screen's quite dark and you want to turn it up, for a brighter screen, you know, turn it down. It's quite weird. Um, I use a computer monitor. If you use a television, I change that. I don't know what different it makes. Um, aspect ratio and resolution depends on your computer. Whether your computer can run 1080p. On 16 to 9, um, you might want to turn it down to. On my previous computer, which wasn't so good, I had it on normal 4.3 and 768 by 1024. And that worked quite well for me. Um, but now I'm playing on a better PC. I can play on. So, oh my god. 16, yeah, 1920 by 1080. Um, Let's have a look. We've got full screen, laptop power, disable that. Uh, this also depends on your PC. I turn all the multiple rendering off, um, anti aliasing, alia aliasing, aliasing, anti aliasing. I don't know. Turn, turn all this crap off. Motion blur you don't need. And I, I've got all this on high just for aesthetics, basically. Next, finally, is our audio settings. Um, this is just what you want. Um, it's worth trying out the HRTF, which is the new sound system. Um, I'm actually going to change mine to. F oh, should I? I'm going to change mine to 5.1 surround sound because I've got a new headset and actually realize. Um, this is your voice volume for in game mic. And that's about it. I've turned audio and game background off as well because the music annoys me and it gets repetitive everything else I've left as default it's not too important and um, you can go into your mic setup here and change you can't actually see it on my screen but you can change what microphone you, what microphone you're using and the volume let's go I think that's it for this episode um, if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, the next episode will probably be next week. I'll try and get two episodes out a week, if not minimum one episode a week. And we'll start. Uh, I'll start doing more stuff to do with weapons, gameplay, etc. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.